Hey everybody, welcome to Crimson Education. My name is Gus. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the top seven finance and accounting schools according to the QS rankings. For those who don't know, the QS rankings take into account academic productivity, uh, employer reputation, and uh, the H index. Obviously, rankings are only a part of the story of which school is right for you. And if you would like some help in figuring out which school is right for your finance or accounting career path, you should click on the link below in the description and you'll be connected with one of our academic experts. Number seven on our list is the University of Pennsylvania because of its Wharton School of Business. Wharton is famous as one of the finest undergraduate business educations in the world. What separates Wharton from most of the economics programs at other undergraduate institutions is its focus on actual, practical, applicable skills. So you won't just be learning the theoreticals of why the economy works the way it does, you'll be learning how to apply those concepts in a real world business setting. Wharton's curriculum is customizable, allowing you to focus on any aspect of business or finance you want, including management or operations. Famous alumni of Wharton include Sundar Pichai, the CEO of Google, Elon Musk, founder of SpaceX and Tesla, and Warren Buffett, the world famous billionaire hedge fund manager. Number six on our list is the University of Chicago's Booth School of Business, located in Chicago, Illinois. To date, nine members of the Booth Business School faculty have earned Nobel Prizes for their work. That's a lot of, no that's more Nobel Prizes than I have. Uh, the Booth School also has a legendary finance curriculum which covers both corporate finance and investing. Some notable alumni of the Booth School include Eugene Fama, the 2013 Nobel Laureate in Economic Sciences, widely recognized as the father of modern science, not a lot of people get to say that, and Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft, succeeding Steve Ballmer in 2014. Steve Ballmer is in another one of our videos, you should check him out, he's cool too. Number five on our list is LSE, or the London School of Economics, which as the name might suggest, is in London and studies economics, among other things. It's a school too. LSE is a specialized research university focusing on business, finance, and economics. LSE is also located close to London's financial district, which is a huge boon for students at the school as they're able to work closely with financial partners all over London. Two famous alumni of the London School of Economics are former president of Kenya, Jomo Kenyatta, and Pierre Trudeau, uh, former prime minister of Canada. You might know his son, Justin Trudeau, who also became prime minister of Canada. It kind of runs in the Trudeau family. Number four on our list is the University of Oxford, also located in the United Kingdom, with its Said Business School. The Said Business School was named after prominent businessman and philanthropist Wafik Said. The Said Business School is particularly famous for its accounting researchers who routinely publish in the top accounting journals in the world. The world-class faculty, in addition to their duties at the Said Business School, also participate in other financial institutions around the world, including the Center for Business Taxation, the Center for Corporate Reputation, and the Private Equity Institute. Number three on our list is the Stanford Graduate School of Business, located on Stanford's campus in Palo Alto, California. The Graduate School of Business at Stanford offers several degrees, including an MBA, um, an MSX for executives looking to get more training and management in the middle of their careers, and a PhD track as well. The PhD program at the Stanford Graduate School of Business is designed more with scholarship in mind and understanding corporate science, while the master's degrees are more for business people looking to get in, get skills, and get back out to the working world. At Stanford, there's also a lot of student-led finance extracurriculars, including Stanford Finance, a group which encourages financial education among the Stanford student body. Number two on our list is the Sloan School of Business at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, or MIT. MIT Sloan offers degrees at the bachelor, master's, and PhD level, as well as executive training. Sloan's MBA program is considered one of the most competitive and high profile in the world. Students who are in the Sloan MBA program can also cross-register at Harvard Business School. It's the only partnership of its kind at this level of business school. If you've ever driven a zip car or bought or sold stocks on E-Trade, you've used MIT Sloan alumni products. And number one on our list is Harvard University, located in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Harvard is on our list despite not having a finance or accounting undergraduate degree. Rather, the star of this show is Harvard Business School, commonly ranked as the number one business school in the world. One of the most famous Harvard Business School programs is its 2 plus 2 MBA degree, where students agree to work in the real world for two years before coming to Harvard Business School to get two years of MBA training. Also, at the undergraduate level at Harvard, one third of graduating seniors go into finance, business, or consulting. Notable Harvard Business School alumni include economics titan Michael Porter, Michael Bloomberg, and Facebook's Sheryl Sandberg. 
Okay, so that was the top seven finance and accounting schools in the world. But the real question here is where are you gonna go to finance or accounting school? And the answer to that, I do not know. Only you know that, and the way that you can get that answer is by clicking on the link in the description below. You will be paired for free with one of our academic experts who will give you a free academic consultation to see if they can help you pick out the school that's right for your dreams. Again, I'm Gus with Crimson Education, signing off. We'll see you later.